So in our previous podcast, we looked at analyzing data. In this podcast, we're going to be looking at the output after that analysis. So the first box here just simply shows which groups have been uh, analyzed and how many participants. So there's 10 participants in each group. The next dot down is descriptive statistics. That's the button that we clicked in the options. And that just shows us the mean of each group and also shows us the standard deviation of each group as well. The third box down, Levine's test of equality, um, is checking the assumption of homogeneity of variance. So in this box, we're looking for a non-significant difference. These means the groups are not significantly different just due to chance. So in this one, the important value we want to look at here is this significant value here of 0.659. So that's above our critical value of 0.0. So we can say that these were not significantly different due to chance. Our founding box down is the ANOVA itself. And what we want to be looking at here is this line here, which is looking at the allocation. So as you can see, there was two degrees of freedom allocation so there was three groups three minus one is two and the error was 27 so that is there was 30 groups 30 participants in total sorry minus one participant from each group so minus three giving you 27 and then your f value which is your f statistics 13.934 so that's the value you could then uh, it's our calculated F, so you could then compare that to the critical F table. And then what SPSS does for you is creates a p-value. So in this instance, it's 0 0.000, meaning there is a significant difference between the groups. However, this doesn't tell us where the significant difference lies. This simply tells us that there is a difference between in javelin, in javelin throwing distance between the caffeine group, the water group, and the beer drinking group. In our next podcast, we're going to follow on and look at this down here, which is the post-hoc tests.